Hello plant friends, it's Wolfie Rankin here and uh, I'm just going to show you some of my plants and give you a little bit of advice. I'm not the most patient person around and I think there's probably a few of you who are kind of similar. Well, a few years ago I was after a plant called the Hoya New Guinea Ghost. Hello Joe. Josephine, my cat's here. <laughs> anyway, uh, this, this New Guinea Ghost... I wanted it, but it was really, really expensive. And then someone came along on Facebook Marketplace and offered this little guy for about $20. And I thought to myself, hmm, I'll get that. So I did. And it had two leaves. And that's all it had, two leaves. And it's very, very small, as you can see, compared to my finger. And... Then one leaf died and I thought, oh no, I've lost half my plant. But then the summer came around and it grew three extra leaves, which I was very relieved about. But as you can see, it's really, really tiny. And this was about, oh, two years ago now, I think. Now, the problem is I can go on Facebook Marketplace now and buy a plant that's, you know, a decent size, one that's actually... You know, it looks like a plant that you can show off to people. Um, like like something you might get from Bunnings, for instance. Not not tiny, tiny like this little one. Um, so I'm kind of stuck with this. Now, if I had a greenhouse or something, it probably would have bloomed, come on like mad, you know. But no, I'm stuck with this. However, I'm a patient wolf. And <laughs> this will eventually grow. And... Uh, I, I know it will, and it will be beautiful. Now, similarly, similarly, sorry, I can't get my tongue around that this morning. Uh, I've got a Calistophylla hoya here, which um, is one leaf, and it's been one leaf for ages. Come on, Calistophylla, move. Move your bleeding ass. Um, I know she said ass because she was English. That's right. Um, anyway, this is, this is Calistophylla, but you know what? I'm not annoyed about buying this because I didn't buy it. This was given to me by a very good friend called Robin, who, um, who offered this to me from her plant. And, you know, it's, it's small. Yeah, I know, but it was a gift. So that's different. So, you know, if it's a gift, it doesn't matter, does it? And I'm very pleased to have it. I'm just waiting for it to do something. It hasn't done anything yet. It hasn't sprouted a new leaf or put out a stem of any kind. It's just very, very, very small. Um, so I just want these ones to move. <laughs> so anyway, it's a lesson in holding your horses and waiting because eventually that plant is going to be affordable and it's going to be big. And, uh, you know, if I had a greenhouse or something, this would have been fine. But as I said, I don't, I'm just living in a normal house, a house that tends to be a bit dark and cold, to be honest, because I live in Melbourne, Australia. But um, there you go. There's there's my Hoya, Hoya um, um, New Guinea ghost story. And um, these are all my plants. And if you're wondering why I've got bubble wrap on my windows, it keeps the cold out. So that's what it's all about.